You are watching the Dangerous News Network, news, sports, and politics, where the content is uncut, uncensored, and unbelievable. And this is your host, Daniel McFarland. And today's topic is going to be about the Major League Baseball offseason. Yes, Major League Baseball offseason is upon us. And here is some news. The St. Louis Cardinals, they picked up former Tiger Johnny Peralta. And um, they traded David Freeze to the Los Angeles Angels for Peter Burgess. And the New York Yankees, they picked up Brian McCann. Well, let me chime in about what I think about those moves. The St. Louis Cardinals, they got better at third base. I hope that the St. Louis Cardinals don't put Peralta at shortstop. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping that Johnny Peralta gets to play third base. That's what he really is. The Detroit Tigers made a bad move by letting him go. I'm sorry. Nick Castellanos, he has to earn his way up to the major league. But Dave Dombrowski, I'm hoping that Nick Castellanos isn't anointed by Dave Dombrowski. Now, let's look at um let's look at David Free. David Freeze was a nice story, but nice stories are not going to beat the nice stories are not going to beat the Boston Red Sox. And yes, they got better in the outfield. Peter Burgess, he's a leadoff option for the St. Louis Cardinals now. <clears throat> He can play left field, center field. He can play left field and center field. And, yes, Peter Burgess, he can lead off. Now, he had a, now he was buried behind Mark Trumbull, Mike Trout, and Josh Hamilton because Josh Hamilton got paid, Mike Trout's the superstar, and Mark Trumbull is a step ahead of Burgess. But Josh Hamilton, he's overpaid. Mike Trout, he's a superstar. And Mark Trumbull, he's a power hitter. The Angels, though, they don't have any pitching. They didn't get better with that trade. They got worse. The Angels, they desperately need pitching. They need pitching. The New York Yankees, they need pitching, too. C.C. Sebastian is not enough. Do you trust Yvonne Nova and Phil Hughes? I know I don't. Jared Weaver is not what he used to be two years ago. And I don't think he ever was a true race on on a major league level. I thought he was a good number two pitcher. But the Los Angeles Angels, they don't have a semblance of a starting rotation outside of Jerry Weaver. Now the St. Louis Cardinals, they knew that they knew that Nice stories are not going to beat the Boston Red Sox. So they traded David Freeze. David Freeze, he's not that great. Now, he was a nice story two years ago, but let's face it. If David Freeze was that good, the St. Louis Cardinals would have kept David Freeze. That's the truth. Now, at least the Yankees do, do have a catcher, a switch-hitting catcher. That's what they needed all along. 
And the Los Angeles Dodgers, they signed Dan Herring. They keep on getting deeper, and they keep on getting deeper when it comes to starting pitching. But I'm wondering, but they do need to trade one of their outfielders. Matt Kemp and Andre Ethier, they're both injury prone and they're both overpaid. And they're not, well, Andre Ethier is not that good. Matt Kemp could be if healthy. But matter of fact is, he's never that healthy. He's never healthy. That's my take on the offseason so far for the Major League Baseball. And this is Daniel McFarland of the Dangerous News Network, and I approve this message.